In this video, we're gonna make an AR plus IoT project with the help of two different target images. So till now, we have made the AR plus IoT project using one single target images to control only one single appliance. But this time, we'll be moving it to the next level by adding two different target images, having two different type of buttons on each of the image to control two different appliances. So that's the target of the video, the multiple target image. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by LTM, which is a PCB designer software company. LTM has all the tools that you need to design a professional PCB with high productivity. And well, it is widely used in big electronic companies like Texas Instruments, Siemens, SIGET, and many more for their PCB designs. It has advanced routing features, real-time cost estimations, and also you can design your own flexible PCBs using this software. So this is an all-in-one professional PCB designing software for all your needs. So go ahead and try your hands on with this software. A free trial version is waiting for you. Now click on the link mentioned in the description to get a free trial of LTM designer software. So let's start making our multiple target image based AR IoT project. For that just open up Unity and click on new. Give a project name. I will name it as multi-target. Click on create. So here is the Unity project. Now, as usual, to add the AR camera to this particular AR project, we need to add the Vuforia engine. For that, just go to uh, developers.vuforia.com and just log in here. After logging in, just go to downloads and download this Vuforia engine package for Unity. After successfully downloading it, just double click on that file. It will automatically redirect you to your Unity project and just click on import here to import all the packages. Now, it may take some while, so I'll quickly fast forward this video. Okay, so we have successfully added the Vufura engine to check that just right click here and you can see the Vufura engine uh, package appeared here. Okay, after that what we'll do, we'll remove this main camera as we are dealing with the AR camera here. So after removing that main camera, just right click here, click on Vufura engine and add an AR camera to your project. Click on accept. Okay, so we successfully added the AR camera. Now we will add a license, like a Vuforia engine license to a Unity project just to link both the accounts. For that, just go to this developer.vuforia.com, click on develop, and here click on get development key. We'll give the license name as uh, multi, click on uh, this check mark this box, click on confirm. And here is our license, just click on it. Copy this license and just paste this license here. Uh, for that, you need to click on AR camera. Click on open Vuforia engine configurations and paste that license key here. So with that, we have successfully linked this uh, Vuforia engine with our Unity project. Okay, now let's just start adding the image target, like the target image to it. For this, right click here, uh, go to Vuforia engine, click on image target. Okay, so here is our image target, uh, but we haven't selected our uh, target image yet. Like we haven't made the database. And for that, again, go to this uh, Vuforia uh, website, click on target manager and click on add database. Give the database a name. I will name is a uh, name it as multi. Okay, multi is fine. Fine for me. Okay, click on create. Go to multi, and here click on add target. Click on single image. Click on browse to choose the image. I will choose the first image as this test image. Click on choose. Width will be one. That's it. Click on add button. So this is the same step that we have repeated uh, in all the previous episodes. But uh, now we're gonna add one more step here just because we want to add the multiple target images. So to add the multiple target image, you have to add the same image here in the same database. For that, click on add target again, click on browse. Now select the second target image. Don't worry, I'll be providing all the target images uh, down in the description of this video. Uh, click on choose, select width as one, and that's it, click on the add button. So with this, we have successfully added two target image into one single database. After doing that, just click on download database. Select Unity Editor and click on Download. That's it. Now double click on that file to you know import those, those database into our uh, Unity project. Click on Import. Voila, we have successfully imported. Now click on this image target. Here change the type to from database. And here, as you can see, the multi database appeared here. Click on this database. After that, here, as you can see, now we have two different image options. One is the one and second is the test. Okay, so as we have the two images, the two database images appeared here in the project as well. So now what we'll do, we will one by one configure both the uh, uh, target images. Let us start with the first image. Okay. So here is our first target image. Now what I will do is I'll click on image target, uh, click on this advanced option and add a virtual button to it. Click on add virtual button. 
okay as you can see here is the virtual button added to our image i will just organize this at uh, one side of this image okay now similarly what i'll do i'll add another virtual button because hey come on we need two buttons to like one to turn on and one to turn it off so i'll add it quickly and again i will arrange it on to the other side okay now as discussed in the previous video virtual buttons are kind of a transparent thing it is not visible uh, while looking through the camera so we need to add a plane or an image to this uh, uh, virtual button to make it make them visible so click on virtual button but before that we need to change the name of that so first of all change the name here to on again you have to change the name here as well to on change its sensitivity to high similarly second virtual button name will be off here also name will be off and the sensitivity will be high that's it now let's just start adding the plane for that uh, right click on this on button go to 3d object and click on plane okay so a plane is added here now i'll resize the plane quickly perfect okay similarly i'll add the plane to this as well perfect so we have successfully added planes to them now we will be adding images on that plane for that i already prepared uh, some images like uh, for on this green image and for off this red image so i'll first of all drag and drop this image inside this unity project straight after that i'll drag and drop this on image to the on plane and the off image to the off plane okay this seems to be rotated uh, like 180 degree i'll click on the plane and i will rotate it 180 degree to make it perfectly aligned same with the another one great if i look it into the free size okay let us uh, bring this plane just above this transparent uh, virtual button great same with this step okay so as you can see we have successfully added the on off button on one of our target image now we need to repeat this step for the next target image as well so first of all what we'll do is right click here go to a uh, euphoria engine and select image target once again click on image target select here from database select database as multi the image target will be test this time okay remember earlier we have used this so now it is this and as you can see our new target image appeared onto our unity project okay let's just quickly start adding the virtual buttons on this image as well click on image target click on advance add virtual button and virtual button is successfully added on it i will rearrange it onto the left side of the plane again click on image target go to advance add virtual button and arrange that virtual button onto the right side of the plane again following the same step we'll add the planes here perfect adding the images to these buttons as well uh, on will be going to this particular plane and off will be going to this particular plane again rotate it to 180 degrees again rotate it to 180 degrees and I'll like change the name of this virtual button to on on and high this virtual button will be off off and high okay again let's just uh, bring those plane just above the virtual button let's see the top angle and we have successfully added two two buttons onto different target images now we are just left with adding logic to them adding the script to them okay the script will be the same script that we have used in the previous project so i won't be going to deep inside explaining each line of the code if you want to understand that you can watch out the previous videos link is in the i button as well as in the description okay so let's just quickly add the script so here is the script which says first.cs i'll quickly drag and drop it here after dragging and dropping you just need to select this first script add into the image target okay so first i'll add to this image target and as you can see the script appeared here okay now i'll do the similar step for the second target image just drag and drop it to the second target image okay now one by one what i'll do is i'll select this target image drag and drop this on button to the vb on drag and drop the off button to the vb off okay so this is how we have assigned the variable with the particular virtual button now we are just left with adding the url to it now the url concept must be clear to all the people who are watching this series from so long okay so here we are using the blink apis to turn on and off the appliances okay so our 
AR plus IoT project is uh, related with the Blink project as well. So if you already have used Blink, uh, uh, okay, let me tell you one thing. You can control your Blink related uh, appliances or project using the APIs as well. So this is the API. Here you just need to add the authentication token of your project in this particular place add the uh, pin number at this particular place and add the data to be sent here okay so in case if you want to turn on the appliance you can just send the data one here uh, in my case it is like reverse logic so i just uh, put one here and the appliance got turned off and if i put zero the appliance will get turned on as you can see okay so yeah this is how i can control the blink or this is how you can control your blink related appliance okay so i'll simply copy this link and i'll place uh, the url on link here and for off uh, it will be value one because hey, it's reverse lodging in my case. Okay. So that's the simple uh, API link to control the appliances. Okay. Similarly, doing the step for the next image target, I'll drag and drop the on virtual button in VB on off virtual button to this VB off. And this time what I'll do is I'll change the virtual pin V1 to V3. Okay. And I'll copy this link and I'll paste that here. I can paste that here and change the data to one. Okay. So yeah, this is how like from one image target, I'll be able to control the virtual pin V1 of my Blink project and through other, other image target, I'll be able to control the virtual pin V3 of my Blink project. So yeah, our AR plus IoT project with multiple target image is ready to be tested and ready to be exported as well. But like before exporting it to our Android application, let's first try and test this project here inside a Unity uh, like software only for that just click on this play button and like I'm ready with my target images here Let's just try it out one by one Okay, so here is me And here is one of the target image and if I go my take my hand to the red one uh, it should show, Okay, it should, it's showing that LED is off inside the console and if I go to the green one Hey it must show LED is on. Okay, it shows LED is on, like LED is off. Okay, so LED is off and LED is on. So it is perfectly working on the first image target. Now let's just try with the second one. Here is the second image target and it should recognize it. Okay, it's recognized and it's okay. Let's just try it with this one as well. So red one, LED is off and as you can see the light turned off. And the green one LED is on, as you can see, light turned on. So it's completely working fine on my Unity software. And now this project is ready to be exported on the Android application. And let me just show the step to export it as well. Uh, for that, I'll stop this video. Uh, go to File, click on Build Setting. So here select Android and here one option will be appeared called a switch platform just like this. Okay, so switch platform will be appeared. So what you have to do is you have to click on the switch platform button to switch the platform to the Android. In my case, it is already shifted because I did it like before starting this video. Okay, now after switching the platform to Android, just click on the build button and it will ask to name this file, the APK file. I will name it as multi. Okay, that's it. Great. Click on the save button. And yes, it has started exporting the file to .apk, like the Android supported file. Now what I'll do, I'll straight away take this Android file to my Android phone. And now I'll let you know how this project works in real life in action. So yeah, this is the first target image and it is successfully recognized by the smartphone. And I'm able to control the appliances connected to the first target image using the virtual buttons by just, you know, touching the buttons in the air. Super. Let's just try with the second target image. So yes, as you can see, I'm able to control the appliances connected to the second target image using the virtual buttons on the different target image this time. Super. So our AR project with multiple target image is successfully working. So yeah, that was our next AR plus IoT project with the help of the two different target images. I hope you liked the video. I hope you got to learn something new from it. And uh, we do have more such AR plus IoT project lined up. So do subscribe to the channel if you want to learn way more in this particular domain. So next uh, project will be about, so till now we are only controlling the appliances with the help of this AR buttons, but now we'll be also reading the data from our ESP devices straight into the target image. Like we'll be able to visualize what's the temperature and what's the humidity of our uh, room uh, using the uh, augmented reality. Okay, so that's that will be the next project most probably. So do subscribe to the channel if you want to learn that. And uh, yeah, uh, that being said, 
am just ending this video here and now just wait for next video explore learn share with me take care sms